two, one. Hello. 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 Oh, lipstick, oh, on your lipstick on your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> are we live? Are we yes, live? We yes, are. we are. Let me, let me just. There we go. Sorry, might have been an echo there. Uh, Arena Foot is here. Hi, Arena Foot. Uh, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Midweek Gaming. Yay! Where we kind of rehash some games that we've played, do some fun things, maybe try and get high scores and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but we are going to play a new game today as well. Excellent. Um, so what we have on the agenda today mm -hmm. is Pac-Man 4K. And the reason we're doing this is because I found a wall hack. Well, I accidentally found a wall hack that we're going to try and recreate today. And we'll see if we can do it. Uh, the next game is Aardvark, um, which is a work in progress game. And it wasn't, we weren't able to play the full version last time because there was a setting that wasn't quite right with my Frame Meister because Aardvark wasn't programmed completely correctly and it drew too many lines which mm -hmm. made the screen skip which made everything cut out so I've made the Frame Meister more tolerant now mm -hmm. so it won't flip and go crazy and cut out so we can play the newest version of Aardvark okay and then the third one is a new game and it's b-ball actually here show the manual much bigger b-ball and i've never ever ever played this i've only seen video of it and it is a two-player game i don't th oh one or two so that you can play against the computer mm -hmm. um so we'll see how fun that is sounds like fun sounds good yeah and speaking of arena foot uh he just put out a new book oh. on amazon and i did announce it on the facebook page and the instagram earlier today and it is all about uh, Atari 2600 homebrew games. Mm. Um, I think he put in 30, 34? I can't remember. A lot of homebrew games throughout the years. Let me see if I can bring it up uh, really quickly. Uh, yes, here it is. Uh, 34, I was right, homebrew games uh, spanning over 23 years. And he does include the earliest homebrew game, which is uh, Tetris Clone. Uh, Ed Triss 2600, which was the first ever homebrew game made for the Atari 2600 ever. It wasn't the first homebrew item, but it was the first homebrew game. And that's what the, the book concentrates on. And it goes right up to really, really new ones. Um, so there are 34 of them. And uh, this is just volume one because there's lots to cover. And Arena Foot, uh, who is also known as Brian Mathern, is the official keeper of the largest homebrew list of 2600 games and it is massive very cool it's not just the ones that are like released on cartridges mm -hmm. it was like work in progress ones like everything that's ever been done on the 2600 pretty much that's probably playable it has to get to a, like a playable stage i'm sure yes. very cool that's very cool yes congratulations uh, all that's the a, way to a big thing to yeah, do it yeah, is, is writing a book, a book. Right? That's a lot of work. <laughs> it, it is a lot Good of work. Job. And compiling all that information. And yeah. He did interviews with people oh, to get information awesome. from those people to include in the write-ups about the games. And he says, all the way to Mappy, work in progress. Mappy, nice. Which is like, yeah, just released today. So that's very exciting. Very good. And I ordered it as well. So yeah. I'll be doing a, re a review of that book when it comes in nice. for Zero Page Homebrew. So stay tuned for that review um, later this month probably and uh, yeah I'm really excited to take a look at it and uh, so the first game we're gonna be playing today is Pac-Man 4k which if you remember a couple weeks back we were playing it we were playing it and we got really excited <laughs> <laughs> because all of a sudden Pac-Man disappeared Pac-Man went, <laughs> went through the roof yes out of out of frame yeah right up at the top of the screen and unfortunately I, I I was trying to evade a ghost, I think, at that point. Yes. So I was really panicky, and I turned around and went back into the maze, which it let me, and it let me finish, you know, that that uh, life in Pac-Man. But I was wondering, what's beyond, <laughs> what is beyond that wall? Yeah. And today, we're hopefully going to try and find out what's beyond the wall. Excellent. At the top. 
Um, so let me show you what I did in the meantime. Uh, so take a look at this um, screen here. Now this is the route that I took mm. during that game. Now I may have to absolutely recreate that path, which is going to be almost impossible, but I've tried to map the turnarounds that I did, mm -hmm. as you can see there. Starts off with the green in the bottom center, and then goes left and up and then through the um, portal. And then you go through and then it turns into yellow and then a good, and then, uh, then it turns into red at the top and you see right at the end is where I go through the top, mm -hmm. um, top red. Um, so I'm going to try it first to recreate the maze as best I can, because mm. it might be a factor of those certain dots were eaten, could or be. it could be a factor of the ghosts are in a specific spot. And if it's a ghost in a specific spot, that might be really difficult to recreate because I have to do the exact path to put them in the exact spots again mm. um but if it's the dots that might be a little bit easier because then i can just eat the dots and keep trying to go up or it might be the proximity of that one ghost that was like yeah really i close was gonna to me. say i wouldn't be surprised if the ghost position relative to you is what yes. impacted your ability to go up yeah up into the screen so we're gonna try as best we can and i have the maze above the screen in front of us so i can try and recreate it but you might have to help me left right up down <laughs> i'll do as, my best <laughs> as i try and memorize yeah. what's happening you need, in the maze. you need to like have google maps going okay left right left, <laughs> that's right. right turn left yeah. in two dots yeah <laughs> turn right turn around yeah do a u-turn yeah. when yeah. safe to do so yeah <laughs> uh, so let's uh let's throw in pac-man 4k all right and let's see if i can do it and um i hope i can i'm not i don't have high hopes because this is you got to give it a try yeah this wall do you, do you know where atari was sitting at the time that he might factor in yeah he could he to could the whole thing and his dander could have gotten into the cartridge as well you know you never that's know. that's right because he i'm covered in it now <laughs> but um <laughs> yeah was he on my lap was he on your lap i don't know yeah that could be a big yeah. factor in it he could have got into one of the little um could be the vibration of his purr affecting the internal components of the Atari. Yeah, it could be. So let's switch over. It looks crazy. Uh, it's normal. Is that normal? Yeah, oh, okay. This one's, I just don't remember. Uh, this one's flickery because this one constantly flickers, I believe. It's the 8K that doesn't flicker. Okay. Yeah, but um, I didn't think, really, the one we were using, was this flickery before? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. I'm just... Make sure the volumes are all good. And that you is got coming a cat. through. Watch out for the cat. Wait, don't type. I have to come put that somewhere. Oh, I know. A warm spot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out of the way. Got to play Pac-Man. <laughs> got to play Pac-Man. Okay. <laughs> Let's reset this. Okay, let's just try and do the best I can here. Well, so do the ghosts take a oh, random route? I've already done it wrong. That's okay, keep going. Uh, no, they react to your movements. Yeah, but I mean, their move the movements See, wouldn't be exactly I messed the it same. Up. Yeah. Um, they should be. The timing, you think so? Yeah. The timing, if I do the exact moves, their timing should be exactly the same as well because they react to the, your position on the board. Nope. No, nope. that was Missed right. It. But... That's okay, keep going. <laughs> I Try to recreate the red at the top. Uh, the, just the red? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might as well, because this is going to take a while to... Uh... If you can. Because if I remember correctly, it's that pink dude. Yes. Who has a really strange repetitive movement. Oh, Oop. you went the wrong way. And it's up. Up. Yeah, but there up. was <laughs> definitely a pink, up. a pink ghost right there. Yeah, he was circling, yeah. I remember. Yeah, he does this circle and he circles and he circles and 
down. Up. Up. Oh, and he was like... Going back and forth. He was going back and forth. So, I don't know if it's just a factor of the pink one being close to me. No. And I may not have, have even pressed up. That was the thing. You don't think you pressed up? I, I may have pressed up because I think I was trying to press down. When I was... Uh, Let's get all these. Come on, Pinky. Back you come. All these were gone. Okay. That whole corner was gone. So let's get all those cleared out. And I was coming from the right, right around here. And then I went up. Oh. Right in the T. Well, you went over, you got the flashing one, and then you yeah, yeah. looped, you kind of, you were trying to go down, and then you went to the right and then up, which was really strange. Up. Yeah. No. No. Mm. That was super weird. So let me just try that corner again. Oh, oops. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to try with all the pellets that I got rid of. And see if it's a factor of just like the pellets. So this whole area is cleared out. Up, up, <laughs> up. Oh no, so <laughs> many ghosts. Okay. So let's clear out all the dots that I had cleared out before without killing myself. I got this power pellet and there and up and through the maze. You know what's weird? There's a random pellet that's missing in that image. Above? Yeah. Oh, if you I look at the that. bottom line, there's a dot there's like a pellet that's missing. What? No. Yeah. Look at the oh. bottom line. Isn't that weird? It's like the... the, the How's the that one, possible? I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's why. <laughs> you that's somehow it... jumped the barricade. Or maybe maybe you got that pellet when you went up. <gasps> maybe. Ooh, oh. how about that? It's a sneaky way and you get that extra pellet. Ooh. Because <laughs> if you look at the positioning of it... That's really weird. Yeah, it's like it ate the pellet in the bottom right-hand side. Switch over so everybody can see that map in the bottom right hand corner there's a there's pellet two pellets a missing pellet then four pellets in and the if, bottom right and if you look at the positioning of the pac-man where the red goes off the screen it's kind of lines, lines up. up but in a complete inverse Ooh. right you there would be three i didn't even notice that yeah look at that um that, that's really cool <laughs> that is, is very interesting yeah it's like the, it, but it's like inverted. Okay. Yeah. Well. Neat. Very neat. Yeah. I, that must have, I must have eaten you that must pellet have eaten that pellet. when I went up. I want to look at the, I want to look at the footage again. Yeah. <laughs> the footage is definitely going to show what happened there. So I have to get that pellet. And then all of this. Back up. And then through. Well, well sort of. And down. And up. And then this. corner. And then this. Oh, you, you had, yeah. That's a, you, you've got all the pellets. I'm just trying to get the exact pellets. Oh, I see, I see. Thank you. But you definitely come from the right and then go. Yeah, and then up. Or sorry, you come from the left hand side, you go right and then loop back. Yeah, uh, I've wrecked it. Oh, still all the same. The pellets. Right? Right now, the yeah. pellets are exact? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So 
That red guy comes and interferes with my plans. <laughs> they, they eventually all come over. Yeah, it's true. Okay, let me do the pellet completion one more time. Arena puts... Yeah, I see it. I think he was in reference to oh, the pellet. To, yeah. <laughs> to the missing pellet. Yeah, there's a, there's a missing... Really Mystery cool. missing pellet yeah. that should be there. When Pac-Man becomes a ghost. <laughs> yes, he goes through the walls. Back to... Uh, that's okay. As long as I don't need any more pellets. It's the exact right configuration. Is that Pinky? I know that Pinky has something to do with it. Because I, <laughs> yes. I think Pinky was right on your tail. Then, then went, like, <sighs> you went to the right and then Pinky kind of went down. Yeah, he did something. He did something for sure. They just gather. <sighs> one more time. Can I give it one, one shot after yeah. you're done? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. Um, and then, I don't know, uh, beyond recreating, like, uh, um, like a tool-assisted run of this game, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that perfectly. Well, someone out there might be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, if he released the exact version, which I think he did, like on um, just a ROM, mm. and then somebody can do it with the computer, like recreating with this, like doing my exact path with the computer, Doubt. and then maybe it can be recreated, but even then it could have been a variable that was not taken into account when the 2600s turned on, like something that wasn't zeroed out, because um, that is a possibility. One more guy. I'm gonna try and follow your exact oh. route. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, missing pellet, the Easter egg, yes. Could be <laughs> about the timing it, and not and, and just, that makes it a not lot just harder. the path. That makes it a lot harder for sure. <laughs> yeah, because the ghosts move in reaction to you. Yeah, they do. So their positioning may have tricked the 2600 into thinking something is there that... Ah, <laughs> Pinky! <laughs> <laughs> Pinky. Pinky. Oh. <laughs> right for Pinky. Yeah, no, because I'm trying to look at I'm trying to look at the map. Um, yeah, not an easy map. So no. a lot of movements, a little bit of backtracking. I wish the Easter egg came like two seconds into the game, but unfortunately it does not. Just, I think it's something about that corner that well, makes it makes the, the game thinks it's a pathway up. Like it's open for a certain for a reason. And the numbers of the position of Pac-Man uh, reset coming up exactly on that side, which makes a lot of sense for that missing pellet. Yeah, it does. Like that location. It's almost like the inverse. Are you just playing it now? Uh, wow. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might, it may not have to yeah. do that exact path to get that well, yeah. working. 
Yeah. It's just the best chance of it trying to get it to work. Yeah. So I think it's going to have to come down to somebody recreating my game uh, using a tool-assisted run um, um, to make it to make it work, because or finding what triggered it. But yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who knows what? I, I want to see. I want to see. Do you still have? Can you bring up the video, or is is that asking a little bit too much at this point in time? Because I want to oh, see if that pellet disappears. It's a disappears. little difficult. Oh, okay. I want to see um, if that pellet disappears now. I want to, you know, looking at that video, it'd be really interesting to see. Yeah, well, we'll bore our viewers if I do bring it up. No, 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 that's okay. Uh, do not worry about that. Um, but I, I can. Let me just get it. Okay. So here it is. There's the pellet. We're watching the video on another screen here. Yep. Is that what happened? Yeah, he just ate the pellet. Okay, so that is confirmed. Wow, that's so cool. The maze <laughs> does wrap around, and I actually ate the pellet, which I'd never noticed until you pointed that yeah. out, that it was missing on the map. Well, yeah, because you, you it's can't, impossible to you get can't have a, a pellet in the middle of nowhere. So anyway, yeah. it just disappeared. No, no, I just I was watching it closely, and it just went, boop, it disappeared. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, so we're going to move on to Aardvark mm -hmm. now. Um, so let me just switch over. I've lost my mouse. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pop in Aardvark now. So that we can play it. I better set up things a little bit differently. Press the middle button there. Hold it down. Okay. Okay. Might as well let you guys see it. There we go. Aardvark version 9, which was giving trouble before if you watched that stream. There we go. Now this is the newest uh, version of Aardvark work in progress released into the forums. Okay. Um, it is going to cartridge, so I don't know if he's going to be releasing any more until it's actually done mm -hmm. or he may not ever release it some people don't ever release the binary mm. and they just keep it on the cartridge for a long time or forever um, because boulder dash was never released just a demo um, so you can only get on that on the cartridge mm. which you can't get on the cartridge because it was pulled from the store because <laughs> they didn't want to sell it anymore the people who owned it so i don't know if you saw this game Okay. It's the first it's, time I've seen this one. So. It's actually somewhat related, and I died instantly. Somewhat related to Pac Man. Because okay. it's all about eating pellets. Except, eating pellets, but not eating ants. Uh, yep, you can eat ants. Um, and the worms only hurt you, hurt the tip of your tongue. Uh -huh. And the ants hurt the back of your tongue, so you have to eat them directly. Oh, I see. So if they run into your tongue. Yeah, then you're in trouble. Oh, gotcha. And those little uh, flashing ants at the bottom are kind of like power pellets. They clear out the screen completely. Of ants? Of the whole thing. Of the, see, uh, I went too far. Gotcha. Of the whole screen, all the ants that are coming. So they just wipe out the board. It's like a reset. So what is this game originally based off of? Is there a version of Aardvark on the 2600? No, it was never made for the 2600. It was an arcade game called Anteater. Anteater, okay. Um, yeah, and it was and it's very like pretty much this. Okay. Um, exactly. Hmm. You're a little ant. You're an anteater. You have to clear the board of all these little things, and there's ants and worms, all all the same characters. So they did a really good conversion of this game. And I remember playing games like this on my Commodore 64, except, and it was a ripoff of Anteater, um, except you were drilling an oil well. Oh. And you're putting your oil thing down into the ground. And things would run into you. And the things oil would well. run into you underground, and you had to dig out all the oil. And it was kind of a clever way to represent it. So you can't get that worm. Oh. And to retract your tongue, mm. you have to press the uh, button. 
Okay, and, and that it goes... just immediately tra retracts it. Very fast. Not super fast, so you gotta be careful. Gotta watch the board. And actually... Oh, how come I couldn't move? That was weird. I couldn't move left. Anyway. So you don't have to get the two ants at the bottom, the glowing ants. They're just there to They're clear points. the board. Okay. Yeah. And if you hold diagonals, mm -hmm. like when you get close to a hole, it'll go down the hole. But if you just press left or right, it'll it just go left and right. So yeah. the diagonal or the up and down? What is that? that um, <laughs> so if you want literally to, yes, a bug. Um, so if you uh, like, I'm here and I hold down and to the right, it'll go down and to the right. Mm. But if I hold to the right, it'll just go to the right. So apparently the ants can appear over your tongue <laughs> if you're at the edge of a map, which doesn't seem right. No. I don't know how it was in the original game. <sighs> because they kind of appear into the map a bit. They don't yeah, come from the edge. Yeah, not right, at the, right from the, the very edge. Interesting. Mm-hmm. They pop up really fast, don't they? Yes. And unfortunately this map at the top... Ah! Uh, Whoa, that was close. Oh, that's a little caterpillar. I don't know what happens with caterpillars. Oh. Apparently you're okay to eat caterpillars. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Uh, Rena Foot said something about Aardvark. Uh, Aardvark, I played a few rounds of it, either version 7 or version 8. It was hard to go down on the version I played. Yes, and that's what he fixed in version 9. Ah, um, good to know. <laughs> he added the diagonal movement because it was so hard to position your tongue. I was going to say, it looks like it would be difficult to line things up perfectly. Because it moves so fast. It was it was impossible to play. It was just not fun. And this with the diagonal is is good. There we go. 12,000. Okay. That's the score to beat. Um, so this... It's better, but now it's too fast sometimes. So you go blue, 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 right to the bottom, so so diagonally. So that worm can pass through you, just not the tip of oh, your tongue. Oh, jeez. That's really hard. I'm already having trouble. <laughs> Can't go back, can you? Yep. Retract. There you go. Yeah. yeah, so version 9 wasn't working when we were playing last time, when Darcy was here. So we had to play version 8, which was not fun because you couldn't do the diagonal movement. Sorry. Come on. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting through those holes. The right ones you want, you mean? Come on. Well, the, di the, the diagonal is definitely a little weird. It's very fast. So you kind of press the diagonal, and then as soon as you get through the hole, press left or right, so you don't keep going yeah. right to the bottom. So this one is confirmed that it's going to get a cartridge release oh, nice. on uh, Atari Age um, because it's it's an excellent excellent port. Oh, see? See? It, well, you know what? It's that, a little that, bit of it's a little bit of luck and timing, right? So. So I guess the strategy is don't wait at the edge because you could die. So get those dots and get out. Oh. Yeah, you have to watch your whole. Yeah, but I, 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 you hit the diagonal, you just go bloom, right through, which is, is definitely a challenge. Um, and another strategy is that if you clear an ant from a level, uh, it won't appear for a while. Yeah, but I'm sure they, they, they seem to get more frequently as you go up in the levels. Like, they, they pop back up they a do. lot faster. They do. See it re reappear. Same thing, it reappears in the middle of your tongue. <laughs> Yeah, Instead you, of being sucked off the edge, you can't, it is uh, kind of interesting. You can't stay on the sides for any length of time. Now, I, I oh, think this was hard. a pretty rare-ish game for the arcade, because I, I mean, it's a and it's a very early game, so I've never, I never saw it in the arcade, um, and I don't think there was many uh, cabinets released of it when I was looking up information about it last time. Back, back, back. I don't know what that is, but... Oh, it doesn't hurt you. Oh, oh it does hurt you. It hurts you when you go back. Back, back mm. of your tongue. Interesting. You have an Atari. I do. Oh, you're disturbing him. <laughs> Princess Atari. Oh! 
on your uh, oh, got me. your game game controller pillows. Yes. Yeah. Sweetie. <sighs> yes, you It's very precise. Does the board change every time you die? No. Does it? No. It looked like it did. Look, I did I think there was a hole on the first level of holes, it looked like those were a little bit closer. I don't know. I'm going to watch. Watch. Stare yes. at it. Yeah, it does change. Wow. Whoa. Is that how the original game was? Because that That's just throws you for a loop. Because then your strategy is... Kind is of disappears. Very thrown. It's like, oh, well, I have to change what I'm doing then. Uh, almost about speed more than anything else. It is, like, get them and get out. There we go. Because I was wondering, because I was like, did it change? Like, yeah. when I was on a higher level, it's like, that's not the board I was on. Did I die well, and that, reset the game? Well, that gives it a little bit of variety, because when you're sort of stuck on a level, it's going to change up a little bit every time you do it, which might be to your advantage, I don't know. It could be, because you could be stuck with a bad board, that the holes are, like, really close. Like, this one's good, because the holes are very central. I just find, I find the, the diagonal, I find that really challenging to navigate through that. To If you want to go to the right or you want to get on level two, you often end up on level three. Yes. So it does make it challenging. I mean, I, I'm sure, I've played it once, so I'm sure <laughs> the more you play, you get used to the feel of the controls. It's still tough. But it's quite, it's quite challenging. Now watch when I go to the next level. Watch the screen jump. Okay. Like this, it kind of shudders. Mm. And that's what was throwing off the the frame I start? The frame I see that mm. little shutter. I don't know if you saw it, but very big, yeah, very very minute. So yeah. hopefully he fixes that for the final release because it may not work really well with some people's televisions or setups, and that's usually a result of drawing too many lines for the TV to handle mm. on the screen. So it it kind of jumps a little bit because there's only so many lines that it can. Like on a CRT, like a, a tube television, that wouldn't be a problem because it just like goes, I don't care. But when you're upscaling and, and converting to um, like digital televisions like this, it doesn't know what to do. Mm. And it just freaks out and cuts out the picture sometimes because it's like, uh, I don't know what kind of signal I'm getting because they have auto sensing. It's like, oh, is this a 720 signal, a 480, a 240p? It, it just like it kicks it into thinking that something has changed. So well, close. I got the got that side at least. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh oh, the creepy crawlies are coming out. Oh, is that what that means? You've waited too long. Am I dead? What happens? <gasps> oh, it comes down. down your tongue. Oh no. So you can't do anything about that then. Because you, once you pull back, he'll kill He's you. He's still there. <sighs> okay, I need to get down to that section. Oh, what? Ah, wormies. Ah, what was my score? That's another issue here. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you're... It just goes to the in, instantly to the, yeah. the top screen. So it should put the score at the bottom there. Your last score and maybe the high score as well. That would be very handy. I don't know if he's still like uh, programming it or he's already submitted his final one to Al for a reproduction. Get the, get the, come on. Oh, no, no. You could have got the glowing ant. Oh, bottom, I too. forgot. You're yeah. really close to it. Yeah, I should have gotten him. The sun, I like the sun, the flickery sun going across the <laughs> sky there. Cause, yeah, because the sun uh, does kind of flicker, doesn't it, in the sky? Well, yeah, bit. but it's just just to to you know to to give that sense of a, a bright sun. I like that. That's of course, nice that little... one is going like blue and orange and red and <laughs> yeah, all kinds of colors, Very green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's how aardvarks see the sun. I don't think so. <laughs> are they? Are they? Uh, can they sense uh, UV? Oh, oh, maybe. Yeah, you never know. Oh. What color the sun is in space when you look at it That's like we question. see it and it's kind of yellowish right on earth 
But when you're in space, it's not yellow. Is it white? Yes. Or is it blue? It's white. Oh. Yeah, it's white. I mean, that, that doesn't... That makes sense. Or is this two-player? Are we on two-player? Are we? Well, maybe no. not. I don't know. Is that why the board is changing? Because we seem to have... You see there's lives? It starts with two on each oh. side. Are we playing two? We might be playing two player. Might be playing two. And that might <laughs> be why, why the, the, the board. The board is changing. Yeah, that yes. would make sense. Yeah, so we've figured that out now. Maybe. Yeah. Because that is pretty funny. I don't have the instructions. I don't think I downloaded the instructions for this because it's a work in progress. So actually, I don't think I even posted instructions. <laughs> Could you not move left when you're down to the bottom? You can't. Last you can't go anywhere when oh. you get to the bottom. You have to pull back. Oh, it only goes blip and gets the ant. Oh, that may be it. There is no path in the bottom. It's just, that's what it is. <sighs> yeah, that's dangerous to be that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Look at this little guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're, look how many lives there are. Yeah, it is too There's hard. like eight lives. <laughs> 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 that's ridiculous. Uh, whoa. That's a little crazy. There we go. So you're holding the button, right? Um, pressing it for a little bit to retract. But yeah, you hold the button to go all the way yeah, to the top. Yeah, I've been clicking, so it hasn't been retracting very quickly. Oh, no, so I think I need, yeah, I need to hold the button. Yeah. Little tactics you you pick up along the way. This yeah. little guy. Is he visible? Yeah, he's yeah. visible. Just in the, the corner there. He's fast asleep. Maybe. He's uh, apparently not that impressed with our work. <laughs> <laughs> but it does retract fast, which is an issue. <sighs> it's very hard to... It is it, hard to control, but I mean, it, it gives, makes the game challenging for yeah, sure. It's not like, oh, this is terrible to control. No, no. Yeah. It's, it's just it's, challenging It is to control. challenging. I think it's at the right level of challenge, too, like for the time. Because I'm able to complete it. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. previous to this version, it was just almost impossible to mm. play. Because you, you it had was to be too hard to go down. You had to be precisely over the hole and then press down. Gotcha. Yeah. What's interesting though. Oh yeah, it's the same player. Never mind. Yeah, because I haven't died yet. Or haven't. Yeah. You should have noticed no, it. I haven't died. The score hasn't changed, so. <laughs> That's. Yes. That'll tell you if it's two or one player. Yeah, I don't think you get eight lives in this game. <laughs> Unless it's like just for testing purposes. Ah. I don't like the holes being... Whoa, how, how did I get that worm? I must have just caught him at the end. Damn it. Okay, worm, move it. Where's that caterpillar? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> you can't suck the worm, but the worm can walk past you? Is that I the think, idea? Yeah, the worm can move right through you. Okay. And you can get the worm by going backwards. That's fine. Mm. But just not the tip of your tongue. And the caterpillars are there to be devious and make you think that they are worms. But they're not. But they're not worms. You can just eat them. Yeah. Like they, haven't, they haven't become worms yet, or no. butterflies, or whatever. Moths. <laughs> I wonder if the caterpillar becomes a moth. <laughs> and that's what that crazy oh. purple thing is, maybe. 10,000? No, 11,000. 11,000. Good job, good job. No, but it, I was thinking it's lives, but it didn't reset to zero. So you oh. do have eight lives? It's 11,000? Still 11,000. No, it's two. It's down to two. It, it goes four, three, two. It's it's not going one, 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 one. Oh. Yeah, it is a single player. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. We're getting very confused here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he's representing. This is, this is what happens when you don't read the manual. That's, that's what no I see. Manual. Well, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> okay, get down there. Ah, not enough time. Okay. Get oh, too far down. Yeah, it is counting. Okay. Yeah, it's just going down. Maybe it's... it's double counting it, I guess. Yeah, I guess if you maybe if you do have... Oh, now I'm dead. Yeah. Come on, get it, get it. Ooh, good job. Yay. I'm getting better. It's 13,000 now. I think my other one was 12. Yeah, 12, yeah. yeah. 
There's very nice um, graphics for the aardvark. That was very nice. Okay. There's a bug. Yeah. I don't know what that was about. And I didn't even lose a life either. No, you it just kind of reset. Okay, bug found. <laughs> Programmer. Who's doing this? The problem with also getting those glowy guys yeah. is that the ants reset immediately. immediately. So not it's not always. Not always, but they have the ability to like come out immediately. Yeah. Oh, what what's going on? What's going on? There's nothing left. Oh well, you just have to keep eating ants. <laughs> ants till that guy comes and kills me. Is there an invisible one? What's happening? Oh, that's very okay. strange. Found a bug. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. And not the ants. This should be um, <laughs> zero page homebrew bug finding show. <laughs> well, I definitely have done that a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a work in progress, so there, it's naturally going to be bugs, but now I'm dead. Unless the guy never comes out. Ooh. I'm going to get high score. Not anymore. I'm dead now. That was kind of weird. That was interesting. Yeah, time to move, mm -hmm. little kitty. The sun moves across the top to show you how long you've had to the killer bug appears. Yes. Yeah. But if you if you watched that last game, um, Arena Foot, I ate all the pellets, <laughs> <laughs> and the killer bug never came. Yeah. So and it reset. It reset all of a sudden when I started yeah. a level, and then it just reset. Yeah. So that was definitely what it had to do with it. Mm. Yeah. Good stuff. So that's good. Uh, like that game? It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. It's hard. I, it's I, challenging. I, I, I do find myself, I tend to get frustrated with games like that that require real, really precise control yeah. in that way. I do find them a, a bit frustrating. They, yeah. they usually require a lot of practice to get really good at. So They do. And I'm yeah. even towards the end of my playing, it's, it's still, it was still difficult yeah. to control it. It's manageable. Yeah. Oh, no. It, but but it's a fun game. Yeah. 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 No, it's a good one. So for this one, I'm going to take out the save key because it is a two-player game. One and two-player. So I'll plug in the other joystick. We can actually go head-to-head -head in this one. Ah. Sorry, people out there. Poof. <laughs> so, get out my other Sega Genesis yeah. controller. <laughs> there you go. There's yours. Thank you. So what is this about? I have never played this. Okay. You don't know anything and about it? I don't know anything about okay. it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we'll looks... be playing it blind then. Did I not switch over to the aardvark graphic? Oh. oh. Sorry. There we go. B-ball. Oh, well. Missed one. I, I usually do. <laughs> That's okay. So, uh, this is from uh, 2007, it says. Um, published through our Atari Age. Uh, called b-ball and it looked fun from the videos that i've seen mm, cool um so you let's let's play multiplayer to begin sure. with sure because then we won't get our asses handed to us and <laughs> immediately Front by the computer by the yeah. computer we oh. have a little bit of a chance so i am the left b and i'm missing the ball there we go what am i supposed to do bounce I it i think you're supposed to bounce it over to me Really quiet. It's really quiet. Okay, I turn it up just a little bit. I think mm. the people out there need to turn it up as well. Oh. There we go. I'm trying to figure out. No, I pressed. <laughs> I did press the button and it does hit it further. I don't. Sort of. Oops. Mine. Uh... What what is going on here? You do have to time it though. Oh. It's not helping me. There. The 
This is uh, rather painful. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ha ha. Oh, you got me. Oh. And I think you can touch it more than once. Yeah. Oh, it's kind too of long. like volleyball. Well, yes, no, very it, volleyball. it's uh, Oop. it's not Damn about it. holding it. It's oh. there we go. Oh my goodness. It's 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 a little awkward the control. Ah, because you have momentum. That's why. Oof. That's weird. Because you can bounce it on your. You can bounce it on your stick. Oh, you're winning. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem to be responding Yay. to my button press, though, which is weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. I wonder if this controller's a little off. Oh. Which one are you pressing? B? Yeah, but sometimes it's... You have it does work. Maybe the controller's not. Yeah, but sometimes great. it's not. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to just press it and go up and down like that. Can you press it and it goes? Tick, 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 tick. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes it's just me being crappy, but. Um. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah. No, but sometimes it wasn't responding at all. Oh. Like it was bouncing off me, and I was hitting the button, but it wasn't moving. So. I think I'm. I think I'm sitting too low. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's the problem here. Yay! Ten. Okay. Let's do multiplayer again. Now that oh. we kind of know a little bit what's going on. Ah. Oh. See there, it didn't. There didn't, we go. It, the button didn't press at all. It's weird. Let me see. No, no. It's <laughs> it's it's sometimes it's okay. <laughs> okay. It's just um. Ah. Distracted. You're winning. Oh. It's just sometimes it's being a little bit strange. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. The button press oh. didn't do anything oh. that time. Yeah, mine's not as well. I think it depends on the timing of when you have the ball or where I don't it know. is. Or maybe. Oh. Yeah. If it hits your if it hits your body ah. if it hits your body it doesn't see it doesn't seem ah. to hit it. it the button doesn't seem to. Um, yeah, see if it hits your body first. I guess it considers it mistimed? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> oh. Ah! oh! I actually have to get another... I have to get a point. Yeah, you oh, have to I hit it for the first it. time. Like, I can get the ball, but then when it comes to getting a point, I can't get one. You have to hit it right off the bat. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> off the net. Nice. Oh, oh, oh it fell down. Oh, <laughs> I need to think <laughs> about carrying move. it up. Yeah. yeah, you gotta move. That went right through me. <laughs> that was funny. Oh. Don't jump up on there. Oh. Stop hitting it. Carry it up. Woo! Good job well, again. I've, I've fa finally found the game I'm doing pretty well at. <laughs> so Arena Foot says he's played this on an emulator. Bounce uh, the ball off their swords. Yeah. Yep. It is definitely... Kitten. Uh, takes some getting used to. Kitten. He's, uh... Oh, he's on your team. <laughs> he very clearly Apparently. is on my team. Oh something nice there kitten oh this is so difficult oh you're too low in the screen you need to be a lot higher in the screen yes i do oh my goodness yay oh. still don't have a point though. you still don't have a point you got to get it over oh. the first time oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's an out. Is it out? <gasps> yeah. Oh, it's yeah. You can see it's it's sort of like volleyball. You have to you have to gain the serve back, and then you have to get it over. <laughs> it has to be in the brown. Oh. If you 
because yours didn't count because it went in the green. What? No. Oh. Mm. What you get it. happened? Oh, Wasn't I that my higher. point? Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's your point. See? Isn't it? No, I didn't like that. Oh, you have to get it over on that side. On the brown at the bottom. No. <laughs> so it's out of bounds if it if it goes right over the edge. See? There. Now yeah. that switched the sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew those. Years of volleyball would help. <laughs> Oh no! Out. It was out. Oh, you got a point! <gasps> Finally got I a point. Because I hit it out. Oh ah. no! Right. Oh. And it's my serve, and you hit it out. Yeah. It's out. out. <gasps> point. Actually getting points this time. Oh, that was terrible. Out. It was out. So it just switches the, the serve. I getcha. Out. Oh, it didn't hit. I guess it's like spike. Oh. Yeah, the button is like a spike. Yay! Oh, man. And if you hold the button, it puts the guy's thing up and it blocks. Oh, oh I gotcha. Gotcha. This is actually pretty complex. It is. It is. It's 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 uh it's pretty good actually. I used to have this oh. game on the Commodore 64. No idea what it was called. I'm pretty sure my dad got it from his friend off of VBS, <laughs> and there was no, you know, yeah. uh, manual for it. And um, it was like these two. You, you it was a volleyball yeah. game like this one, and yeah. there were like floating heads, and and floating you heads. use the head to um oh yes you would use the head to oh. bounce the ball back over the net the head yeah and it was it was like genuinely like a volleyball game oh. Locked it. um but it was quite ah. it was quite funny ha -ha. Oh. <laughs> no i didn't see that game out oh. This game is actually better than I thought it was going to be. Um, anyway, yeah. Don't uh, know what the name is. We'll have to one day look it up. It was an extremely simple game. Yeah. It may have been like somebody just made it. It was never released to... No idea. No idea. Um, and it was really weird. Like, uh, it was just a weird looking game. It was like these floating heads hitting a ball up in the air. I think it was like Making the heads. same mistake. And there was a there was a net, and they, you would just bounce the ball back and forth. Oh! Damn it! Oh! And and it it kind of reminds me of this game. Oh! <laughs> uh, Did you block it, or you just? Uh, I just hit it with my head. It just. Oh! <laughs> oh, way funny. out! That was funny, like way high. Can you build up like speed by holding down? Ah, I can't get it. Oh. oh. Bad timing. Okay. Well, you have to you have to touch it with your your sword, not the body or your stinger, maybe. Not really the stinger. Yeah, it's like a it's like they pulled their stinger out in front of them. Oh, it was too high. Oh, yeah, I have to be higher to do that move. <laughs> you definitely have to be in the green for... Oh, you got Ooh. me. Oh, that wasn't close enough. Oh, that was weird. Momentum. Oh, <laughs> my timing's off. Going for the tricky, tr tricky shot. Yeah. Dropped it. Oh no! Oh yes. I have to do the block. Oh, oh. oh out of bounds. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <woo>! Game. 
Okay. Let's see that was how pretty the, fun. Yeah. See how the AI is. I'm gonna run out for a second. Oh. So I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, the AI is. Whoa, he's really good at maneuvering himself. Oh my goodness. And it doesn't seem to appear that there was any difficulty setting. Maybe the switches are. Oh my goodness, he's good at blocking. Come on. Do something with it. Oh. Oh, my God, I missed it. Let's see if I can actually get a point on him. No, he's really good. Oh, I got a point on him. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, out of bounds. Look at him move. Oh, my goodness. It's really fluid movements. Damn it. It's going to be tricky to get this back to me. What are you doing? I'm back. <laughs> the uh, the AI on the computer is really good. I'm not in slightly surprised. You'd probably get really good really fast playing against it, though. You would. Like, he knows how to block. He knows how to bounce it really well. But he does Is that miss. you? No, I'm on the left. Ah, mm. you're green? Ugh. Ah. So hard. I did get a point, though, so it's not, like, impossible hard. And he does mess up on his own sometimes. Well, it would be... Like that. There we go. Ugh. Doesn't help that I'm not very good. <laughs> a little bit of practice, I think. <laughs> Yay! Good job! Good block. Done. No! Out! Out! Yay, Good job. I got a point! Got two! Oh. oh! Out. It's funny. <gasps> Ooh, that looked like it was uh, cleverly planned, but it was a bit of button mashing going on there. That was on purpose. That's a good move. <laughs> yeah, that's a good move. Oh. Oh, I almost got a. W Oh, he's, he's quite good. Yeah, like the he's, AI? Yeah, he's really good. What? I thought I blocked. Went for like a mid-air spike. What? <laughs> oh, well, that's fine with me. Yeah. Oh. B blocking... I could, it's hard. Yeah, it there's something about the controls that's a little bit a little bit challenging, but yes. it's a pretty fun game. Because it doesn't know whether you, like it depends where the ball is and where you are. Yeah, if it whether spikes the, or blocks. Yeah, whether it interpret, interprets it as a spike or a block. It's interesting. So the ball isn't completely round and depending where it is on the screen, it kind of looks like a tumbling square. Um, mm. and and uh, it's interesting. Oh, it's fairly round. For... No, but not not when it's in certain movements. It looks oh, it looks yeah. like a tumbling square. Um, Even see it, it, it definitely it definitely changes. But oh, he won. My turn. Yep. And then we'll play against each other because that's a lot more fun. Because <laughs> that guy's hard. Hard. <laughs> I think the block oh. and the spike comes in if you press the button be well it's on his side, it's a block. If you wait for it to come to your side and you press the button, it's a spike. Which makes sense. Oh. Can you kinda of hold it forever? Sort of. That's weird. I wonder if you can hold it a long time. I don't know. Can't do that in volleyball. <laughs> A built-up spike. So I'm gonna read the instructions now. Ooh, that hoo -hoo, got you're it. Playing. Oh, if 
you hit it. So, B-Ball, copyright 2007 by Ivan Machado. In the animal kingdom, bees are widely known as efficient workers. But there's an interesting fact that we as humans don't know. Bees enjoy having fun. <laughs> Every year, bees from many places gather in one spot to play in a competitive tournament of bee ball. This unique insect game is a mix of tennis and volleyball, where bees hit a honey ball over the net using a racket. Ah. A bee judge watches over the match and serves new balls as needed. If the ball touches the floor or flies out of bounds, a point is scored. Avoid fouling the ball out. Use your dexterity to block your opponent's shots. Slam the ball to score. Learn new tactics to outwit your opponent, and you could be the next b-ball champion. Game rules. Your goal is to score 10 points against your opponent to win a match. If the ball is on your side of the net, you can swing at the ball to send it flying over the opponent's side. If the ball is on the opposite side of the net, you can block your opponent's shot, uh, just as I thought. If the ball is about to fly over your head, you can oh, headbutt the ball in an attempt to stop it. Oh. So that's using your body, but only your head. Yeah, so your head will block it, but what I was noticing is it'll go through your body if it bounces away from your racket. Yes. Which is, is interesting. Oh, yeah, I need to Points are scored <laughs> when, when the ball touches the floor. Yeah. Uh, in this case, the point is scored by the player on the net, the opposite side where the hit occurs. The ball flies out of bounds or is oh. left or right side of the screen. The point is scored against oh, the player goodness. that last touched the ball. You must successfully serve before you can score a point. The game ends when one B has scored 10 points. The judge B will throw out a new ball for the player who has last scored. Oh. When then starting a new game, the first ball is served to the player on the right. So you do have an... an oh, good job. Did you get a point for that? Or is it uh, a... No, it got, oh, got me the serve. I have this bad habit oh. of hitting it. Oh, oh. Hitting it with my head. Um, <laughs> How to play. Use your joystick to fly around half your half of the court in all directions. Press the fire button to either swing the ball or block. Right, right. Curt, curt serve is the arrow, yeah. Player two score, player one score, judge B, ball, blah, blah, blah. Pay attention to current vertical and horizontal speed, as this will be the speed of the ball as it bounces off your racket. Which makes sense. The slower you go, the slower the ball moves. So there's, you know... Tactic. Conservation of energy. <laughs> a good method of handling the ball is to tap the joystick briefly in a particular direction. Keep in mind that when you have the ball, you must period periodically tap the joystick up or you will drop the ball. Really? So if you just sit there and it won't bounce off your racket. What? It'll fall through your racket. So you have to what? tap up, up, up. Tap it. Oh, but not tap the button. No, not the button. Just your joystick. So if you just sit there, it'll just fall through. But you have to move, move, move each time. Um... When blocking, you can fly in all directions, yes. When you want to take a swing at the ball, you can hold down the button in anticipation and then release the button to take the stroke at the most opportune time. Oh, I see. You can't move while you're swinging, so it does stop you. Stroke tactics. Push up on the joystick while pressing the fire will cause the button... will will swing at the ball. This will cause the ball to move in an arc. Oh. Oh. So if you press the button and up, it'll arc over. If you press the button and down, it'll shoot it down. I'm still trying to get the handle of this, <laughs> especially the um, like the spiking. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm still very confused with the control. Uh, so if you swing at the ball and hit it while it's falling. Oh. So up while firing the button to swing at the ball. Okay. Pretty much if the ball's going down when you hit it it's it's going to go down 
if it's moving up while you hit it, it goes up and over. Mm. And I was experiencing that when I was playing. I always hit it into the net, constantly hitting into the net. There you go, like that, moving up and pressing the button. The title screen, on the b-ball title screen, you can use the joy left joystick to move up and down between single and multiplayer. Choose single if you want to play against computer. Uh, choose multiplayer to play against a friend. Okay, so the difficulty switches on the Atari don't do anything. Okay. To avoid an opponent's block, you can hit the ball off screen well, by swinging while moving quickly up with a slight forward speed. This will cause the ball to fly past the top of the screen and force your opponent to back up and move down in hopes of returning your shot. Oh. Uh, okay. You can use a headbutt if the ball is going to hit the back of your bee's head. This is, is useful for surprise attacks or as an alternative block move. If you are careful, you can cause the ball to bounce on the top of the net, which might be a surprise, and throw off your opponent. Be careful not to hit the net on your side, or the ball will bounce back in your court. B-Ball is a concept. was created by my friend Tiago Portella. He gave me authorization to port his concept to the Atari 2600. So maybe it was on a different system before. doesn't say which one. I need to say thanks to all the people in the Atari Age community who helped contribute ideas or give feedback during the development of B-Ball. Thanks to Alex79 and Refera, the PAL beta testers. Thanks to Blackjack for the B's headbutt move idea. Thanks to Nathan Strum for many things, including this manual. Thanks to <laughs> Albert Yaruso for putting new life into the Atari 2600 by producing homebrew games. Definitely. Most importantly, thanks to God for helping me the patience to learn 2600 programming. B-Ball is my gift for the Atari 2600 30th anniversary. Yeah, this was put out in 2007. Uh, illustrations and label design by... Oh, so he drew all this. Wow. So he's a very talented guy. Did all the artwork. And manual text by Ivan and Albert. And manual layout by Nathan Strum and published by Atari Cage. So, one more point, and we're back to to Blair, where we both have a chance to actually win. <laughs> this is very smart AI. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's... Oh, terrible. one more. I'm not a big fan of this controller in this game. <laughs> yeah. No, because I, I find uh, it doesn't respond extremely well. Oh. Like, the back and forth movements. Like, I feel like a really? joystick would work a lot better. Maybe. Let's go to multiplayer. Okay. Which one am I? Um. Oops. Yeah, I'm green. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oops. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess it was going down when I hit it. Whoa. Oh, way off. <laughs> good, hit, good hit, but out of bounds. Yeah, totally. Oh my goodness. Just trying to be clever. Your distance away has a big impact. Ooh, that That's was lucky. Good. Yeah. Still didn't get a point. Oh, out of bounds on my side. Oh, good drop. And again. Does he serve at the exact same spot every time? Um, no, not exactly. Whoa. Hello. Where is it? Oh, Whoa. there it goes. Wow, it had a lot of extra data for off yeah. the screen. <laughs> yeah, for off the screen. Very smart. Good programming. Oh, oh we got it over at least. Oh. Ah! Yeah, I don't find you can move very quickly with this joystick. The movements? <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, you got I'm not sure if it's just the movement of the game or if it's the joystick. It feels very sluggish. I didn't have any problems. Really? Yeah. I don't move very quickly. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's the movement. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to be clever, I set it all up and then nothing. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes it doesn't, um... Uh, Sometimes it doesn't 
the button doesn't do anything and I'm not sure if it's it's the relative position of the ball and the guy but it just doesn't work at all like it there's no response before he serves the button doesn't do anything before he serves yeah. no no this is after you've hit the ball really? yeah it's like it's near me uh. and I'm hitting it and nothing 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 will happen that's what you're saying with this controller but I don't have any problems. no no I think it's I think it's part of the game mechanic Really? Yeah. Mm. What? Oh, Ha-ha. I missed it. Just barely. Oh, see, it's weird. I don't know. Oh, good block. I'm kicking my ass on this game. Not so much. Yeah, seven to one, <laughs> eight to one. Kicking my ass. Oh. See, that time it didn't didn't respond at all. Like I hit the button, but I'm not sure if the ball was too close to my own net that it that my my racket maybe that it didn't respond. Let's switch controllers. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't think it's the controller. I think it's the me mechanic that's a little depending on where the the position or the well, movement is. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking it was green. Well, it went green right for to a you. second there. Yeah, it did. That's funny. Ah. Uh. through me. Wasn't careful of bouncing it. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oops. Is that coming to me? Yeah, yeah it is. Oof. Oh. Damn it. Gotta be careful of... Oh, Ooh, good, good job. Uh, <laughs> good not block. Terribly on purpose. It just worked out that I happened to be in the right spot. <laughs> ah, you can't hit it when it's going down because it has such a downward slope. You have to hit it when it's going up, and that gives a little arc. Like there? Yeah. But if I hit it when it was going down it would be oh, going into the net. Oh, I'm on a roll. You are. Oh, kicking my actually butt. actually getting some points now. Yeah. Once you get used to the serve. Oh, that was good. I think I figured out how the yeah, ball I find it moves sluggish. Now. I find it very sluggish. <laughs> it is. It's just the movement. It's just the movement of it itself. Like, you can't really... There's momentum. You can't really intercept the ball very well. You have to anticipate a little bit. Well, if if you're always um, that's out of bounds. Um, if you're always in the same positions, then yes, it will. Oh, good job! <sighs> Finally, was able to figure out how to do it. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Damn it! Ah, ha, ha. Oh! Oh, missed it. That's weird. Ooh, caught it. Good catch. See, the timing is weird. I because it's on the release, and I think that's makes it a little strange. Like the hitting is on the on the release of the button, not on the pressing of it. Oh yeah. And and that makes it a little. Oh, good ha -ha, block. Ha -ha, ha -ha. Very good block. And then sometimes it won't even. It, it's so weird. It's so weird. You have to be pushing the button before the ball gets to you. Uh, yeah, it's on the release. No, it's not. That's so weird. I can't quite figure out the timing. Um, because like if you push it, he's moving, and then you miss it entirely. The timing gets missed entirely. Oh. You see what I mean? Well, I was trying to block, but it was already on my side. See, it didn't even, didn't even do anything. It didn't even, um, that was neat. Uh, yes. <laughs> it didn't, sometimes it's like, it won't even, Ooh. it won't even Ooh. slam it. Oof. Ah. Ah. Come down. 
Oh, block. See, it again. The button, the button didn't even go, and I, I know it's the timing, but I'm yes, very confused as to why sometimes it will work, it's... and sometimes it won't. Like that didn't. It must be the positioning. I don't know. It's about the timing and where the ball is. But where it hits you, where it hits the bee. And where it hits you too. Like if 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 it hits your head, the racket won't even swing. Mm. Yeah, it's a little it's a little frustrating for for sure. I can't even get into it with the movements. Like, the momentum of it is very... Oh. Uh. Yeah. It's too close to my bee head. <laughs> A little bee head. A little bee head. Oh! Oh, you kind of hold it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm definitely missing something in the timing. I think because you are. like sometimes it works just fine and other times it just it won't even swing. Mm. So obviously there's like there it swung. Oh, I didn't even do that. Nope. That's weird. Um, that block for too long. Yeah, that just bounces. Oh, almost one. Nope. Oh, good job. <laughs> I was good ready job. with the block. Oh, uh -huh. I lost it. Yeah. See, you can't, if it hits you in the head, it's not going to. Oh, good job. The graphics on the bees are really, did you press the button? Oh, oh I just hit down, but I didn't hit, hit the button. Oh. The graphics and animations on the bees are really good. The stripes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Pink touch. <laughs> oh. And you lost oh. the server. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Oh. Into the wall. I meant to bounce it up there. You have to kind of. I oh. think. I think it's the kind of game that playing with the. The movement of the ball and the bees is very helpful. Yes, like, you have to practice. You, you have to practice it a little bit because this is kind of pathetic right now. <laughs> and you, your bees really can't move fast enough to get underneath the ball. That's what I find. Oh, yeah, if yeah. you're not already moving in the direction. Yeah, because it, it just doesn't respond fast enough. Oh. There we go. Oh, that was weird. Oh. <laughs> oh. Press the button, it didn't do anything. Yeah, that's what I mean. In certain situations, it's like, oh, nope. It. So I've got that move down pretty good. Whoa, 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 is it going to get in? Out. No, it's out. Yeah, that didn't swing at all. Oh, good baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the hang of things. Yeah. Well, when you when I'm bouncing it up, you know when where it's gonna be. Oh, so you can headbutt it too, can't you? Yeah. But I, it's, Whoa, I it's strange. Whoa! It just pushed it over. Oh, it's funny. The end end of my sword. Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try the that. So you can hold it, but it doesn't really help. It, 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 the ball just kind of floats up a bit. Yeah. It doesn't give any power or anything. It's just timing. So that yeah. holding it down doesn't really help anything. Yeah. Oh, weird. It's hard to get. It's hard to get the bee under it sometimes.
<laughs> oh, just nudged it yep. over. Tip it over, <laughs> and I just knocked it out of bounds. <laughs> Uh, uh. It is challenging for sure. Yes. But it is kind of neat. Oh, that's not intentional there. Oh, oh, I can't get. Come on, B. Slowly bouncing over oh, to you. Come on, oh. B. You can do it. Actually, technically, they are not bees. I believe they are wasps. Uh, well, why? Uh, the because body shape? yes, the the difference between a bee and a wasp. Yeah. Is um the segmentation of the body. Right. So, uh, this has a big back end. Yeah. The way they're drawn. Yeah. Um, in the game, anyway. Wasps and ants are related to each other very closely. Oh. Um, basically, ah. the body, the segmentation of an ant is what you also see in a wasp. Oh. Um, they're different families, bees and wasps. Glad to see that. Biology degree was good for <laughs> something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Happy day. I remember the bee, but I can't off the top of my head remember the family name for wasps. Um, but it's Happy day for bee. Oh, I hit it when I should have bounced it up. Oh, oh. <laughs> off the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Clever move. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they're definitely moving and looking like wasps. Yeah, but that's fine. They still look pretty good. Yeah. Although I the believe guy at the, top, the guy at the top yeah, looks just... like looks bee like to me. Yes, he's got a fat body. Yeah. A big fat head. It's a Ooh. fuzzy bee. Ooh. Ooh, oh, that was a good move. Down there? Good move. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, out, that's out, out, out of bounds for sure. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, good move. You can spike multiple times, so if you miss it the first oh, time, yeah. you get a second chance. Yeah. It's not like uh a... I want to show you a move. You bounce yeah. up and then press it immediately. Well, not that one, but... Like that? <laughs> yes. If you bounce it up and press it after it just bounces off your... Oh. sword it has a very good chance of getting in on the other person's side no matter are they where swords you are. Or are they rackets i think they are meant to actually be rackets held out in front of you don't press anything yeah the rackets the rackets oh they are rackets, yeah, little rackets. Graphics, yeah. cute see he, see yeah he looks more bee like but when you have the segmentation yeah but i don't that know that looks wasp like but anyway yeah the graph i'm not gonna pick at it too much <laughs> Yes, and he's using <laughs> inside the inside the. Uh, let's see, one second. There. Inside there, you can see for the. It's gonna focus. A little for pull it a little further back maybe. Come on, oh, I think I need to change the focus settings on this. I think I changed them off a bit. Anyway, it looks like a. Almost like uh, Super Nintendo graphics. Like very far from a Atari graphics, but they're still very cool. Yeah, very cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is, that's a good game. Mm -hmm. That is excellent. Yeah, I like that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Nice to have two player games too. Yes, because yeah. a lot of these are not two player because some of them are, like it gets too complex, too many things on the screen at a time. Mm -hmm. But this one is just two people side by side and the ball is drawn with like the ball graphic. Mm. Or, um, yeah, so, and then the thing in the, the wall in the middle of the net, just done, uh, play, drawn by a play field. So there's plenty of graphics for this, for this game. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, so that's my favorite. I mean, I'm not really mm. counting Pac-Man 4K, because that's, we are just playing that. But Yeah, uh, I, I think. I think it's more playable than I think Ant it's Eater. more play playable, and yeah, the Anteater game was a little bit awkward with the, the, snout going down and the the diagonals yeah. that definitely takes a little bit of practice i think with a bit of practice i think i would get more into that game this one's just i like games that you can play two people side by side you don't yeah. get too many of them anymore not very um, many for no. newer games um but yeah no it's, it's fun 
It's fun. Yeah. I, again, it's another game. I you need a bit of practice to get used to the movements. I mean, even even this um, one, you needed to. I was getting a little frustrated with with it sometimes, where it's like I'm pushing a button and nothing's happened. So is it because of where the ball is it relative is. to the bee? It's cl too close to the head, so it won't swing. I think it, so, it was because I noticed at certain times I couldn't swing. Yeah, you're like, what's going on? And I think the <laughs> ball had passed me or something well or past. if it if it hits the head it bounces off the head so i think if it's if it's trajectory is towards the head of the bee you can't swing the racket yeah, yeah whereas if it's more be. in front of you you can so it's kind of yeah. like real tennis <laughs> yeah <don't, laughs> but there's no head yeah can you hit it with your head in tennis no i don't that's like automatic foul i if it hits your that's body that's a good question i i haven't watched or played tennis <laughs> in quite a while it's probably frowned upon at least, but I don't know. What if somebody hits it right I, into you? I'm fairly certain you can't touch it with your body. Yeah, that'd be like people doing tricks but with their head. It has been a long time since I've played a game of tennis. So, yeah. Um, that's a good question. Yeah. So that one's uh, a good one to pull out when you've got some friends over. Play mm -hmm. b-ball. Yes. That's yeah. probably going to be pulled out at uh, like a gaming event yeah, in yeah. the future. Yeah. Because it's a lot of fun. It does take... There is a curve, a learning curve for b-ball, mm. I would say, quite a bit, for timing. Yeah. And yeah. what you can do when, and yeah. how the ball moves, and how you affect it with your hit. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, really great game. Thumbs up, definite buy, for sure. I'm really glad that I bought it. I didn't think it was going to be as good as that when I saw the screenshots, or the, the video online. But it, it well surpassed what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot simpler, just kind of bouncing the ball back and forth on, on the stick. Mm. It wasn't hitting like this, because I didn't watch too much of a video before I bought it. It was like, oh, that's good enough. That looks great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't want to spoil the game too much before I get it. Yeah. So, good. Yeah, I liked it. I would yep. play it again. It's, Excellent. It's a good time. Yep. Yeah, and uh, I can't wait for um, Aardvark to come out and see what improvements because mm -hmm. i've seen screenshots beyond the one we've played and the graphics have gotten a lot better on the um on the new versions cool so maybe some of the controls have been refined yeah. a bit more so it's not so manic when you're when pressing you're diagonal pressing down yeah yeah maybe it slows it a bit after you go through mm -hmm. like if it just paused it maybe like a touch as you hit the next level. Yeah. As you so you could you could go back and forth. So you yeah, have maybe. just enough time to readjust so that yeah. you don't go down again. Yeah. I think that would solve. Yeah. That, that would help a little bit. Multiple diagonal right yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. But maybe you'd want to do that. Because nah. you do want to well, get to the bottom. You do want sometimes. it to be challenging as well, and yeah. and sometimes Not too sometimes easy. those those having really precise movements um, can make a game more interesting. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Arena Foot is asking, what games are in the next show? Well, that is a very good question. <laughs> I have not planned it out. Um, actually, we're going to probably take another stab at Panky the Panda because I have fixed the problem that was um, affecting Panky as well as Aardvark. Okay. So that was That's in that good. realm at all as well. So we'll be doing Panky the Panda again pro uh, properly this time. And... Uh, there's a lot more that I have not played, so I don't know. Maybe Conquest of Mars. Um, got that one right here that we haven't played, and that one's fairly different than Panky the Panda. Um, it's more a precision game, so let's put at least those two on there. Maybe another work in progress game, maybe another one from my shelf, mm -hmm. um, but at least those two, so... Be looking forward to those um, on Friday at probably 2 p.m., which we, we regularly broadcast on Fridays with Darcy. Excellent. He should be back. It's his week to be back here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. Um, so we'll see you on Friday. Thanks for joining us on Zero Page Homebrew. And um, you'll be back next Wednesday probably. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Wednesday night. And uh, so we'll see you on Friday. Thanks for joining us. Yes, and Atari. Atari says uh, thank you for for Says bye. Yeah, for watching. Wave, wave, bye, bye. Wave, bye. Yeah. Oh, here comes the purrs. Yeah. Oh. He's very happy. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Okay. <laughs> See bye. you on Friday, everyone. Or Goodbye. Wednesday. Or Wednesday. See you then. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>